So if you're anything like me, there's probably four things that you really enjoy doing more than anything else in this world. The first one I can't talk about, but I'll give you a secret. It involved my wife. The second one would be eating tacos with my wife. The third would be drinking tequila with my wife. And the fourth is mountain bike riding. So my wife doesn't really get involved in that with me, only on occasion, but that's like one of my four favorite things to do. But when you involve mountain bike riding with your car, things can get a little tricky, man. I really like my car. I like the way it looks. It's shiny, you know, it's pretty, and I don't want to jack it up. So a few months ago, I built my bike. I did a video on that. You definitely got to check that one out. I call it the Franken Goose. It is a Walmart Mongoose bike that I pretty much custom built from the frame up with all the parts that I wanted to make it a really rideable bike and comparable bike to something you would see at a bike shop. Love the bike, but it won't fit in my trunk anymore. Therefore, I had to get a bike rack. But I wasn't just going to put any bike rack on my car because I didn't want it all scratched up or dented or and stuff like that. So I went online, I scoured the internet, and I ran across Tui, one of my favorite backpack companies. Tui makes an array of bike racks, and the one I found was the Raceway Pro 2. It actually holds two bikes, but the cool thing about this one is, and I think this is probably the only one on the market that does this from a trunk mount, it has a rail system on the bottom to where you can actually mount the bikes to the rail on the bottom and then just hold it in place from the trunk part of the mount so that's cool i looked at that i looked at all the contact points and i was like man this looks legit so i had to check it out so right now i'm riding around with this bike attached to my car and i am loving it when i take the bike rack off it is scratch free when i'm driving around with it on the back of the car it doesn't feel like i have anything on the back of the car I was assuming that since I was going to be attaching this to my trunk and, you know, slash bumper, once I put two bikes on it and it's only its payload capacity is like 70 pounds. And my wife's bike is actually pretty heavy because uh, she has a, a stainless steel, not stainless, but a, a steel frame. Uh, so I'm pretty sure I'm maxing out that payload. But even with a maxed out payload, I don't feel like uh, I have anything swinging off the back of my car because the fit is so solid on the back of that trunk. So when I make turns and stuff, it doesn't feel like, you know, my tail is wagging or anything like that. So I can definitely appreciate that uh, with this bike rack. But another great thing is that, it, like I said, it, it's a firm attachment to your car. All the contact points are there. And being that it's a contact point, it can't be something that's going to wear or scratch your car or anything like that. So it has these really, really thick rubbery, I don't know what kind of material it is. Let's just call it rubber. It has these rubber pads on the, on the contact points that will attach to your trunk on the top and then another one uh, to the back side of your trunk or bumper. I'm going to go ahead and advise you not to let this thing rest on your bumper because remember, you're putting up to a 70 uh, pound payload on it and you don't want that weight pushing down on your bumper. So make sure you kind of raise it up off the bumper, maybe an inch or two, just to leave room for some sag when you put that payload on there. So without getting overly technical about this stuff, I just want to share with you a few things that I really like about the bike rack and why I chose to purchase this one over any other. That the main reason was the rail system on the bottom. Um, that was the biggest point for me because I didn't want the bikes just dangling off the top of my trunk to have that extra set of support there was huge. And sometimes when you have bike rack on there, you want to go into the store or something like that, right? So you're running into the store and I don't know, maybe you end up stopping in a bad neighborhood, right? You got this, you know, thousand dollar or three thousand dollar bike on the back of your car. You run into Academy. By the time you come out, somebody done snatched your bike off off the uh, rack and the rack is still sitting there, right? That's because your bike rack might not have a lock on it. So you have to rig up something. This one has locks built in. It not only has locks made for the bike itself uh, on this, uh, this arm attachment that'll kind of squeeze onto your frame and let you lock the bike in place, that, that uh, wheel right there also has a lock on it, which you can lock. And once you lock it, it just free spins. It doesn't make any contact with anything to open up that, that grip. So you can't take that bike out of there. So once that's set, you're good to go. But what if somebody got a little slick and just decided to steal your whole bike rack and the bikes? <laughs> well, they're not going to be able to do that either because the bike rack has a lock. So what happens is it folds up. And once you unfold it, uh, 
Chewie has thought of everything. Once you unfold it, you have these, this numbering system, one through 10 or 12 or something like that. My trunk happens to be a number seven. So once you ratchet it out to a number seven uh, to where it actually fits my car, you'll figure this out from looking at the instructions. Once you ratchet it out, mine is a number seven, you can actually put it on your car and then lock both sides of the ratcheting or uh, the swivel mount. Uh, you can actually lock both sides. That way they won't unfold or fold once they've been set in place. So the only way to actually take anything off the car as far as the bike rack or the bikes itself is to get out some tools, which would be, I don't know, a uh, you know set of wire cutters or something like that, right? So as far as security, yes, somebody who was really diligent and really, really wanted your stuff pretty bad, they could probably get into it if they had the proper tools. But nobody's just gonna arbitrarily walk up to your car and take your bike or your bike rack off of there. So that's always great to have that extra security there between the bike to the rack and then the rack to the car as well. So that was clutch for me. The next thing I really liked was the ease of use. Putting this, oh, look at this guy right here, man. He's trying to run me off the road. Wait until the last minute. Oh my goodness, he's Houston drivers, man. Another thing I really appreciate the bike rack having is the adjustable base uh, that you put your bikes on in the first place. Not every bike has the same wheelbase. Mine is about eight to 10 inches longer than my wife's. So typically since hers is a little bit uh, heavier than mine is, I'll put hers on the first rack since uh, it weighs more and it's closer to the car. I'll put mine on the outside. So I'll make hers a little bit smaller to, uh, to accompany her wheelbase size. And then I'll put mine on the outside and I'll stretch it out a little bit more uh, to accommodate my wheel size. Now at first glance, you're gonna wonder if, the, if these uh, rails are gonna support your bike well enough. I will tell you that looking at it, it does look like it's Boeing and it does come from the factory that way. So don't worry, the, the weight from your bike isn't gonna kill this thing. Uh, it does max out at about 70 pounds worth of payload and it is constructed to have an arc. That way it, it accommodates for some of the flex that it's gonna have as you're you know bumping up and down the road and stuff like that. Now, when it comes to ease of use, I'll go ahead and tell you that I haven't had that many bike racks in my lifetime. I've had a trailer hitch one and another uh, car or SUV style to where it kind of mounts on the back. But this one has been the neatest and easiest to use I've had so far. Uh, all you do is use those ratcheting mechanisms to, to put those, uh, those hooks with, attached to the cables on there. You latch them onto the trunk on the top and on the back side of the trunk. You ratchet them in place and then you are pretty much set. All you have to do is kind of, you know, fine tune it to get it where you want it to be. Putting your bikes on there is a breeze. It has these uh, buckles that will go in, in between your uh, wheels to kind of buckle the tires down and the arms. Uh, they're smooth. Everything just works the way it's supposed to. And you can have this thing on your car in literally less than five minutes. I think five minutes is being way too generous. I'm thinking more like, I don't know, two or three minutes. You can have it fully attached to your car. Now, when it's time to take it off of your car, it is just as easy. It is as easy as unlocking it, flipping these switches that's on the inside of that key lock pad. You just flip the switches, pull on those cables a little bit, pull it off, fold it up and put it away. It's just that simple. So as far as ease of use, I'm not sure you can get much better or easier than that. Now, I really would like to give you some negative input and tell you what I don't like about it, but so far after using it two or three times, I can't figure out a single thing that I don't like about it. It's uh, the ease of use, I give it a 10 out of 10. Uh, the payload is fine for me because my bikes aren't super heavy. Uh, the, the sturdiness and stability of it while it's on your car, handling turns and the feel of it while it's on the back of your car fully loaded, I give that a 10 out of 10 because this is not a large car. This is a Cadillac CTS. It's not built for hauling stuff and it's pretty low to the ground and it handles this uh, bike rack. Uh, really well with the full capacity on it. So I, I really can't complain about this thing. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a 10 out of 10. I feel like I got exactly what, what I paid for. Some would say this is pretty expensive for a bike rack, but for a bike rack uh, of this stature, for someone who really cares about their car and you don't just wanna slap on anything on the back and you know maybe have your trunk scratched up or dented in and stuff like that. 479 was a small price to pay for me because the damage that it could possibly cause would be worse than that. So for the price tag, I'm definitely okay with it. I would pay it all over again. The only problem is the wait time. Due to our current situation with the pandemic and stuff, 
wait times for uh, availability is, is ridiculous, man. It took a while for this thing to get here, but I highly suggest that you go ahead and order it because it is well worth the money and well worth the wait. I'm no expert in this kind of stuff, but like I told you before, there's four things that I love doing and mountain bike riding is number four. So when it's time for me to put my bike on the back of my car, there is no way I'm putting anything else on the back of my car other than this Thule bike rack I got right here. So I'm gonna get out here and get some dirt on my shins and try to hurt myself a little bit. But while I'm gone, make sure y'all keep being good to each other and I'll see you when I see you. Oh, so you wanted them cats that like to just run up in a place, take what you want, then leave, huh? Man, you better hit that subscribe and notification button. That way you know when I'm over here opening up new stuff. And while you're down there, you might want to consider tapping that uh, join button and becoming a member because membership has its perks. See, that wasn't so bad. All right, man, I appreciate you. And I'll see you at the next one. Is this not why you are here?